Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Dread Captures. In today's video, we'll be exploring some of the most interesting and unexplainable things caught on trail cameras. These cameras are often used by hunters and outdoor enthusiasts to capture footage of wildlife, but sometimes they capture things that can't be easily explained, from mysterious creatures to ghostly footage captured by these cameras. So sit back, grab your popcorn, and let's get into the captures. Coyote love deer. And any time a pack of coyotes can track one down, they're going to try their best to take him down. A trail cam video captured in June of 2021 shows a standoff between a pack of coyotes and a deer. As you can see, the deer is bounding through the high grass while the coyotes are trying to corral her for an easy takedown. The original uploader didn't mention this, but if you look closely, in a brief moment, you can see that the deer has a fawn with her. You only see the baby once, but knowing what we all know about mothers, it is very safe to say that the mama is more worried about her young escaping. I suspect that this is why we are seeing the doe and the coyotes run in what seems to be circles. I think the baby is somewhere behind the scenes, out of camera view, trying to evade the coyotes. And the mother is either running interference as a distraction or trying to keep herself in between the coyotes and her young. Let me know if anyone has seen anything like this on their land or other places. Captured a few days before Christmas in 2010, a group of mountain lions are congregating around a kill. This wouldn't be odd if these were African lions as they tend to work together, but mountain lions are solitary animals, traveling alone except during mating season or when a female is supporting young. So I wonder what's going on here. Now, I'm sure if a kill takes place by one lion, it draws quite a bit of attention from any animals, especially predators in the area. Mountain lions can be seen at any time of the day or night, but are most active at dawn and dusk, corresponding with deer activity. Seeing as lions are carnivores and, again, eat primarily deer, I'd be interested in knowing what they are eating in this picture. I can't quite make out what it is. It looks like it has dark fur, perhaps a cow from a nearby farm. Or maybe we're blocked out from the prey and can't even see it. Here's another angle of the picture. Very strange for them to be together, but perhaps food brings predators together much like it does humans. If you look closely and count, you can make out eight mountain lions in total. A wildlife expert commented on the original uploader's photo and said this has to be a composite picture which means that two or more photos were combined to create one. The expert says he has extensive experience in big cat behavior and this species is as described above, a solitary apex predator that hunts alone using ambush techniques. If you guys have ever seen anything like this, I'd be interested in any information you have on it. This photo was taken in October of 2011. A man was checking his trail cameras on his property and when he pulled up the footage, this is what he saw. A man just standing there on his property. He definitely has the look of not having much of a purpose for being there. But the trail cam owner says the strangest part is that he has cameras on the entrances and exits to this part of the property. And this man wasn't captured on any of the other cameras. Sure, I guess he could have come through the woods and been out of sight. But according to the owner, it is very thick and would have been tough to travel especially if he's shirtless, which it kind of looks like he might be in this photo. Assuming he's not, others that have seen the photo and knew he was only captured on this camera suggest he might be a time traveler, that he looks similar to a gold prospector from years past. The band around his head does look similar to a headlamp. Let me know what you guys think about this photo or if you have any information. If he indeed is a time traveler, I bet he's bummed he ended up in a random part of the woods. This next story clip is an absolutely phenomenal one. This is a video of Casper the Sheepdog. Casper is a 20-month-old Great Pyrenees who is responsible for a flock of sheep in Decatur, Georgia. One day, a pack of coyotes showed up, and they were kind of sniffing around the pen trying to get at Casper's sheep, if they saw an opportunity. John, Casper's owner, explained that the pack of coyotes just randomly showed up, and they were kind of doing what coyotes do 
They run away, kind of taunt you, but eventually leave with any act of pushback. They eventually retreated. Around 3 p.m. the same day, John heard a bunch of commotion in his backyard. He came out to see Casper and the other sheepdog named Daisy with their sheep pinned in the corner. The coyotes had returned for round two. John says that about half of the coyotes had made it into the pen while the others waited outside. Casper moved front and center now as the coyotes tried to push closer. The owner noted that the coyotes didn't act the way they did the first go around. They weren't responding to the man's yells. They weren't scared this time. They were honed in on those sheep. As the coyotes advanced towards his flock, no quicker than you could blink, Casper took off into the middle of the pack of coyotes. Some scrambled to get out of the pen, while the others that stayed to fight with Casper eventually met their demise. Casper killed a few coyotes right there in the pen. Casper jumped out of the pen and killed a few more that wouldn't back down. After that, Casper took off for the rest of the pack, and what ensued was a battle lasting roughly half an hour. John finally went back to his house to get his weapon because neither Casper nor the coyote pack were backing down. He said they fought and fought and fought up and down the creek on the back of their property. John was trying to call Casper off the coyotes because he could see that Casper had a few injuries, understandably, but Casper was locked in. Eventually, the coyotes started to lose ground, probably figuring that there was an easier meal to be had somewhere else. But when they took off, Casper went after them. John followed as well as he could, but he eventually lost Casper and the coyote pack. As the day turned into night, John and his family didn't really know what to think or do. Casper was a family dog as much as he was a dog on the job. The next day, they put out a Facebook post and neighbors came and helped the family look. As the group followed the blood trail, one dead coyote, then another, then another, they found pieces of Casper's tail along the way. So they knew, after all this, he was in rough shape. John says he figured they'd find him dead, honestly. And this was more of a recovery mission than a rescue mission, seeing as what he was up against. But unfortunately, despite their efforts, they still couldn't find Casper. Two days later, John happened to be in his backyard, and he caught something out of the corner of his eye by the chicken coop. I'll be damned. It was Casper. Casper stuck his head out of the chicken coop as John went over to him. He said Casper kind of looked at him like, Look man, I know I look bad, but I feel worse and I need some help. John took him in and he and his daughter cleaned Casper up. He had some deep wounds that would most definitely need veterinarian attention. But he was alive. Casper was able to bounce back and make a full recovery and is undoubtedly one loyal and heroic dog. A wildlife specialist commented that dogs rarely prevail like Casper did, and packs of coyotes attacking people's pets have grown somewhat common in rural and growing suburban areas throughout the United States. Anyhow, in the description below, I'll attach the video of Casper's owner John talking about the incident. In classical antiquity, the Minotaur was represented as having the head and tail of a bull and the body of a man. It's also very popular in the role-playing game Dungeons & Dragons. So, looking at this picture, I'm really trying to get a gauge on what I'm looking at. My eyes see a big, bipedal beast that looks like a gorilla or Bigfoot. But man, I am thrown off by the horns on its head. His arms look oddly human as well, but you can see the ram's horns as plain as day. What in the world could this thing be? Is this real? This has to be a hoax. A person in a costume or something. I don't know. I will say this. If I ran into this creature in the woods, unarmed, I'd be going the other way. Doug Teague, a Hickory, North Carolina resident, and his dog Crazy Daisy claim to have footage of a real-life Sasquatch. Cell phone footage shows a dark figure through the trees. This video was taken in McDowell County where several people have reported seeing the creature over the years. And this guy really seems to believe in Bigfoot. Ironically, the day of the encounter, Doug and Daisy were headed to get the footage from trail cameras he had currently set up. Cameras he was hoping would help him catch a glimpse of the elusive Sasquatch. T goes on to explain that as they were walking, they heard some rustling in the leaves, and then a rock was thrown in their direction. 
He grabs his cell phone and starts recording not one, but three total creatures up on a small hill. This is just a small snippet of the 10 minute video he took. Interviewed by news reporters, Teague describes being giddy like a school child when he saw them. I know the video has been around for a little while, but let me know what you guys think of this footage. Doug clearly is infatuated with Bigfoot, so that makes me a tad bit skeptical. However, if what he caught on camera is genuine, it doesn't seem like it could have happened to a bigger believer. So good on you, Doug. I've posted more than a few mountain lion clips on this channel because, well, they amaze me. They're big, stealthy, mysterious ambush predators. This next picture shows just how close this mountain lion was able to get to this deer while remaining undetected. Deer are highly sensitive to their surroundings and you might even describe them as skittish. Experts say a deer can smell a human like humans can smell a skunk. So it's very surprising that this mountain lion was able to get so close to this deer. And that the deer didn't hear the lion's footsteps behind him as he was stalked. Do you think the wind or the wilderness smell of the cougar masked the predator's scent? I guess the cougar could have been bedded down and lying in wait and the deer just walked by. Nevertheless, the owner found a great place to put a trail camera to capture this. This next photo goes along with the last one that we just talked about. It shows the exact way mountain lions like to hunt. Here, a hunter has set up a trail camera in an area with lots of deer activity. And at first glance, it looks like the lion has grabbed one and is in for quite a treat. Unfortunately for the lion, this is a fake deer. The hunter had probably set up the trail camera to scout out any potential deer activity on his property or just for target practice. Great footage for us to look at, but the lion left empty handed that night. Also, does anyone have any idea what that is hanging over the deer's head? This next camera capture is absolutely amazing. Check this out. So, in 2019, Sardar Benici, a Turkish shop owner, is seen walking down the road in front of his store. The footage was taken by his security camera on top of his store. As the video plays, nothing too out of the ordinary happens. A man goes past him and taps him on his shoulder. As Sardar searches for the person who touched him, Sardar notices that the vehicle is getting too close for comfort. And all of a sudden, seemingly out of nowhere, a huge metal gate swings open just in front of him, inches from his face. If it had hit him, he would have been severely injured or worse. As the video shows, the store owner is clearly taken aback by the close call. He looks around, apparently looking for the mysterious man, but he's nowhere to be found. The video was picked up by local TV stations, and a reporter tracks Sadar down, and he said that the truck's driver called and apologized for what had happened. The video, which recently resurfaced on Reddit, never fails to amaze people. As far as an explanation goes, none appears to exist. I think it's amazing. I'd be interested in knowing what everyone thinks happened here. A disaster was averted. Was this divine intervention? Was there actually a man? For being massive, powerful, scary predators sitting on the top rung of the food chain, bears are surprisingly agile as you'll see in this next video. After spotting the carcass of a huge bird hanging from a rope, the bear decides to scale the side of this tree. Being an excellent climber, he climbed right up the tree with no problem. But things got a bit tricky when he had to cross the string to reach his final destination. The bear held the rope with his teeth and front legs, with the rest of its body just dangling in the air. Quite an exhibition of upper body strength. He's got his eye on the prize, and as soon as he's about to grab the meal, he slips back down to the ground. I imagine he'll take a little break before he attempts that again. The good news for him is that I don't think anyone is going to come along and try to get in between a bear and his food. This fairy, straight out of the movie Peter Pan, decided to perplex its fans when it emerged in a trail cam floating over a building in the dead of night. The fairy can be seen flying up the building and away into the sky. It appears to be quite realistic. If you ask me, she looks a lot like Tinkerbell. Slowing down the video and examining its size, 
Some people believe the fairy is actually a Luna moth. The American moon moth is another name for it. The moth has a wingspan of only around 10 centimeters, and its shadow makes it look like a bedtime fairy. Some people have commented saying they don't even see the fairy, that they don't know what people are talking about. I definitely see a fairy. Let me know what you guys see. This next video is rather incredible, as it shows a monkey captured on a trail cam. The incredible part isn't that it's a monkey on a trail cam, but the fact that the monkey was spotted in Tennessee, a state located in the southern part of the United States. And as I'm sure many can attest, there are no monkeys native to Tennessee, as the climate and available food sources don't support their species. These primates are more commonly found in rainforests and other countries across the world. Now, I'm assuming that this monkey is someone's pet that has hopefully just escaped for a brief time, and not the alternative, that someone let this monkey out into the woods and hope he survives because he got too big as a pet. We see this often with reptiles and other exotic animals in the state of Florida. Please let me know if you have any information on this monkey and the outcome, or if it did in fact turn out to be someone's pet. This isn't the first time we've seen an animal with a constricting tire around its neck. In one of my previous videos, we showed an elk with a tire around his. Thankfully, this next video has a happy ending just like the other one. As you can see, these sea lions were at a loss as to how to help their buddy, who was having trouble breathing due to the fact that a tire had become mistakenly trapped around its neck. Remarkably, the rescue team made up of bystanders sprung into action. They attached a hook to a piece of rope and carefully hooked it into the tire and pulled while the seal maneuvered his way out and took off into the company of his friends. This next camera capture starts in a very joyful way. Just a boy and his dog playing in their front yard. The boy and the dog both seem happy to be outside and burning off some energy. But in a matter of seconds, the entire video takes a turn. If you look across the street, you can see a dog that has gotten loose from its owners and is in a dead sprint for the six-year-old. But the boy's dog isn't having any of that. Just as quickly as the dog arrives, he's met with the heroics of the boy's dog. Even another dog joins in the fight too. The first dog blocks the initial attack by the black dog, then blocks him again when he tries to get to the boy, eventually runs him off into the driveway. As we watch it again, you can feel the fear from everyone. You can hear it in the neighbor's voice whose dog is on the attack. You can see it in the boy and on the mother's face as she runs to get her son. I don't know the outcome of this video other than that the boy is safe and his dogs are heroes. And I'm not sure what the liability looks like for a neighbor whose dog did something like this. Probably nothing since he didn't bite him. But I can imagine these two families won't be hanging out this weekend after this scare. In our first clip, a Mississippi man was left perplexed after spotting what appears to be a massive black cat walking through a field. And even experts can't agree on what he saw. The strange encounter occurred as David Sluter was pulling into a Wendy's in the city of Hernando. David noticed something slinking off in the distance. After initially thinking that he was watching a deer or a coyote because of its size, he then realized that the creature was actually some type of cat. David, who was over a hundred yards away from the animal, took out his phone and started filming. As he looked more intently and from his tail, he could definitely tell it was a cat. I mean, look at that tail. That thing is massive. He swears it wasn't an overgrown house cat like some people have said. And authorities agree with him. An expert with the Mississippi Department of Wildlife quickly dismissed the mystery feline as a house cat, claiming... The pointed shape of the creature's ears confirmed that conclusion. However, the city and county animal control weren't excited about the Department of Wildlife claiming that the creature is the much more dangerous mountain lion. Nevertheless, everyone is currently on the lookout for the big cat. This next trail cam capture comes from Brian Sammons. At first glance, he thought he had a deer die right in front of his camera. However, the photo actually shows deer visiting and sleeping in the same spot nearly every night. 
Salmon says the deer, a young buck, calmly walks up to the spot every few nights and just lies down. It's unusual behavior as deer are known to be skittish and they avoid sleeping in the same place for multiple consecutive nights. He agrees how interesting it is to see this. He agrees it's really cool to see this and thinks it may have something to do with this particular location being safe or the deer just feeling really comfortable. Experts say it could indicate that the area is a migration or feeding location. I'd be interested to know what the experienced outdoorsman thinks about this. Nevertheless, it's always fascinating to see wild animals in their natural habitats. As an add-on to the last photo, this next one is a cool one too. A man placed a camera in a dilapidated pole barn on the back of his property. He noticed a family of deer would come and bed down in there. And as you can see, this one seems to have noticed the camera, while the other one seems to have taken a liking to the protection of the old truck. On another note, let me know in the comments if you can spot the third deer in this picture. I suspect some will find it easily, but some, not so much. This next clip shows a few photos from a trail camera. A man captured a rare and intense standoff between a coyote and a bobcat on his trail cam. The footage shows the two animals facing off, with the coyote appearing to be on the defensive as the bobcat advances. Despite their similarities in size, the bobcat wins the standoff and the coyote eventually retreats. While bobcats and coyotes rarely fight, each knows the other is a formidable foe. This kind of confrontation is not unusual among wild animals as they are often competing for the same resources, such as food and territory. It's interesting to see the dynamic between the two species, and it's a reminder that not everything has to come to blows. Bobcats and coyotes rarely fight because each knows the other is a formidable foe. And honestly, it's not worth the hassle of getting injured. There's much easier prey out there, and plenty of it. Anyhow, the man who captured this footage is lucky seems to have some pretty cool animals on his property. The security camera system of a home in Henderson, Kentucky recently captured eerie footage of what appears to be an apparition. The homeowners, Pamela and Rick Carter, were so spooked by the footage that they are now considering moving from their home. The strange scene was reportedly captured earlier this month at the Carter's home. According to the couple, the potential spirit had been spotted in the flesh a few days earlier when they saw a strange man walking down the street before disappearing. Pamela said it was the second time the mysterious figure had been spotted, and two days later, they checked the security footage and saw the same mysterious individual again, this time seemingly materializing out of thin air at the end of their driveway. Possible apparition is clearly some kind of figure, that takes a few steps down the street and then dissipates into thin air. When Pamela went outside to look for the man, she didn't see anyone, leading her to assume that it was some kind of ghost. On a similar note, it wasn't just Pamela who has noticed some spooky things going on in their area. The following day, her neighbor admitted to having a ghost living in her house. The mother of two claimed she feels like someone is listening when she is alone in the house and has even felt someone throwing something at her. What do you guys think about this? Is this just a man walking and a glitch in the camera? Or is this an actual apparition? Often known as the vampire deer, this little guy was picked up from a field camera. This is the Chinese water deer, a small herbivorous mammal native to China and Korea. These smaller deer typically weigh between 33 to 65 pounds and stand around 2 to 3 feet tall at the shoulder. Obviously, they are known for their large tusk-like teeth, which both males and females have. These vampire deer live in wetlands and grasslands near water sources such as rivers and lakes. They're most active during the early morning and late afternoon and are known to be solitary creatures outside of the breeding season. They are also a protected species in China and Korea, and hunting them is illegal. Beside the fact that it looks menacing, it is unclear as to why evolution chose fangs over antlers for this deer. One expert suggests that all deer had both fangs and antlers at one point, and over time the larger deer kept the headgear 
and the smaller deer did away with them in favor of the teeth. Nonetheless, an awesome specimen. A trail camera set up in the woods of Colorado captured a mysterious unicorn-like creature wandering through the forest. The animal, with a single horn protruding from its forehead, has caused a great deal of speculation and excitement among local residents, and even some wildlife experts. As we've all been taught, the existence of unicorns are purely fictional. They're mythical creatures and it's impossible for a real animal to have a single horn protruding from its forehead. Well, this seems like a real animal and that's really a horn. In all honesty, it looks like a perfectly healthy elk with some type of mutation that makes the horn grow from its head. Some people are claiming that this is photographic trickery and that an animal like that doesn't exist. I'd beg to differ and I think it's a really cool camera capture. Let me know what you guys think about this. Has anyone seen anything like this? Speaking of antlers in the wrong places, a deer caught on a trail camera has been captured with an antler stuck in its neck. The footage shows the deer moving around with the antler protruding from its neck, seemingly unbothered by it. This type of phenomenon is called cross-browsing where bucks during rut engage in intense fights and one of them can get their antlers stuck in another's flesh. While it may look painful, these types of injuries are usually not life-threatening and the deer will typically be able to remove the antler on its own. But of course, in some cases, the protrusion may cause significant damage to the animal, to its vision, mobility, making it more vulnerable to predators or disease. It's always amazing to see the way these animals have the capability to adapt and heal. This video captured around midnight shows farm goats in Brazil corralled into a pen and relaxing during the cooler evening. However, suddenly, they catch wind of something and realize they aren't alone. As the stragglers retreat to the comfort of the herd, it's kind of eerie to see all of their eyes looking in the same direction, out of the pen, trying to see what they're sensing. Well, it doesn't take long to see what they're worried about as a puma enters the camera and is now in the pen. I am curious as to why the cat paused there for a moment. Maybe he heard a person or something. Anyhow, the puma corners them and takes his pick. Quicker than he enters, he's out of there. He leaps, goat in mouth, such power. I'll stop the clip there, but we'll link it in the description if you'd like to see the rest of the clip. It's only a few seconds longer, but some viewers might not like it. This next video shows a not often talked about topic, however, an increasing one. There has been a recent increase in reports of UFO sightings by pilots. These sightings have occurred all over the world and have been reported by pilots of commercial and military aircraft. The pilots have described the UFOs as being a variety of shapes and sizes, and some have reported that the objects were able to move at high speeds and make sudden maneuvers that would be impossible for known aircraft. The FAA has encouraged pilots to report any unusual sightings to the agency, and many pilots have done so. They also state that they take these reports very seriously and investigate each one thoroughly. The military and other government agencies have also been monitoring these sightings. Let's watch a clip of the pilot explaining what he saw. So what the uh, common denominator is, but it's always at the bottom of the Big Dipper. Mark Holsey is a former F-18 fighter pilot. This August, he was piloting a private jet off the coast of Los Angeles when he says he saw as many as seven mysterious objects appearing to fly thousands of feet above him. This is audio from that night alerting air traffic control. Yeah, I don't know. You're not entering any military airspace or anything. I'm not sure. The increasing number of UFO sightings reported by pilots has led to a renewed interest in the phenomenon of UFOs and the possibility of extraterrestrial life bet my life on it, there are many more pilots and a lot more videos that are going to come out. I know this is going to happen. I know what it is. What do you guys believe? 
Nevertheless, the continued reports by credible witnesses like pilots add more weight to the idea that there may be something strange happening in our skies, and it deserves further investigation. This next trail camera caught a deer dancing? Nah, I don't think so. At first glance, I thought the deer might have walked into a nest of fire ants. But on second thought, she could also be engaged in a behavior called stotting or pronking. Stotting is when a deer is startled or frightened. They jump into the air kicking their legs out before landing on all fours and running away. This behavior is seen in various species. They use this behavior as a means of communication and to signal their fitness and alertness to potential predators. It can also be used to assess the predator, assess whether he or she is able to chase the pronking animal or not. Nevertheless, it's very interesting. Recently, a photograph of an unusual creature has been circulating on social media and causing quite a stir among wildlife experts and enthusiasts. This photograph, which was reportedly taken in the forests of Montana, appears to show a bear elk hybrid, a creature that has never been seen or documented before. The animal in the photograph is clearly a bear, but it has a set of large antlers, similar to those of an elk growing from its head. The antlers appear to be fully grown and well formed, which has led some experts to believe that the animal is not a genetic mutation or a hoax, but an actual hybrid of a bear and an elk. Now, the idea of a bear-elk hybrid seems highly unlikely. Bears and elk are from different families, and hybridization is rare in animals with distinct genetic makeup. And there is no scientific proof that such crossbreeding is possible in nature. So is this a hoax? Or are we going to call it a belk? I'm going to play a little clip from this video that I found. I'm going to show a clip from a reported documentary. The film's maker claims that in 1942, German soldiers killed an animal similar to a wolfman. As you can see, the animal appears to be bipedal and has a strange physical build. Let me know what you guys think about this. This next clip is a viewer submission from Ronnie L. And it shows a picture that I've only seen in my nightmares. He explains that one of his trail cameras set up in the woods of Vermont captured a mysterious wolf-like creature wandering through the forest. The creature, which some are saying is just a gray wolf with mange, was captured on camera in the early hours of the morning and has caused a great deal of speculation and excitement among local residents and wildlife experts. One of the first things that stands out about the creature in the photo is its size. Wolves are typically around four to five feet long and can weigh up to 150 pounds. But the animal in the photo appears to be significantly larger, more heavily built than a typical wolf. He also has thick, shaggy fur and a broad snout. Some experts have suggested that it could be a rare, undiscovered subspecies of wolf. Another intriguing aspect of the creature is its coloration. Gray wolves are typically a mix of gray, black, and white. But this animal appears to be entirely brown, which would make it quite unusual. This coloration could also be due to the camera flash, or the time of the day it was captured as it was captured in the early hours and the darkness might have added to this brown coloration. The location of the sighting is also worth noting. Vermont is home to a small population of gray wolves, but they are not commonly found in this part of the state, which has led some to suggest that the animal in the photo may be a recently reintroduced or escaped captive. However, experts are currently not able to confirm if it is indeed a wolf. It's difficult to tell from just the one photograph, and they would need more evidence. Even though the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department, who have seen the photograph, are excited and has begun an investigation to figure out more about this mysterious creature, 
They have urged anyone who sees the animal or has any additional information to report it to the department immediately. Let me know what you guys think about this picture. I wish he had sent more in. Nonetheless, let me know what you guys think about this photo. Our first clip is from Trail Camera Dad, and he's captured some amazing footage. The video starts with the elk feeding on some low vegetation towards the end of the day. You can tell they sense something. Something is hitting their nostrils. One of the cow makes an alert sound, and they all take off. And here comes the lion through the brush. As we watch it again, the cow closest to the screen makes the alert but her back is facing where the lion came from. I wonder how she knows not to run that way. I guess it could just be instinctual. I'd love to know what experienced elk hunters and wildlife enthusiasts think the reason is. I grew up in an area that had wild horses. So when I saw this trail cam capturing horses running midday, I was intrigued. As they gallop by, you can notice the foal bringing up the rear. And that's why they're running. I imagine the foal was the bear's target. It's always great to see a glimpse into nature. And further proof that unless you have four legs, it's pretty hard to escape a bear. This is an interesting video here. A young boy and his father are exploring in Yellowstone National Park. As they're admiring the beautiful elk, the boy spots a creature behind the elk. Dad zooms in on the elk grazing and slows the video down. Circled in red, you can see the creature in the background. It appears he's in between a cluster of logs, foraging for something maybe. It's a little too far away to see it clearly, but the boy and his dad were adamant that it was a Bigfoot. I'm not here to tell them what they saw, and honestly, I can't even tell. My only real hang up is that if it were a predator, the elk don't seem to care much. It appears they don't even notice that something is back there. Or, if it is a Bigfoot, maybe they don't view him as a predator. I'd be interested in what you all think about this. And can anyone make out what that creature is? This is an absolutely incredible event. A man is awakened by some commotion on his deck, so he goes to investigate. And wouldn't you know it, a mountain lion is standing there and has killed and dragged an elk onto his deck. Unbelievable. As the man films, the lion gives him a hiss, hoping he'll leave and let him eat in peace. I'm so interested in how all of this went down. If the struggle took place nearby and the cat dragged the elk there, or if it took place right in the guy's backyard. What do you guys think the timeline of events was? You can faintly see some light blood in the snow as the lion walks away. I wonder if he has an injury. Most importantly, I hope the lion is able to eat this, as I know he or she expended a lot of energy to kill that elk. These apex predators fail much more than you might expect, so like I said, a lot of energy was burned. If it was me, I'd call some buddies, load it up in the truck, and drag it out in the woods and let nature take its course. Nonetheless, an extraordinary camera capture. As a man named Wyatt drove down a rural road on a dark June night in 2021, the only thing illuminating his way was the beam of his headlights. As he continued, suddenly something strange caught his eye darting across the road with lightning speed. At first he couldn't make out what it was, but upon reviewing the footage captured by his dash cam, 
he realized it was something truly terrifying. The creature, resembling something between a dragon and a gigantic mantis, is unexplainable. Wyatt had a passenger with him that night, and he had never seen anything like it either. Currently, this being remains a mystery to this day. Has anyone seen anything like this before? This video, recorded by a Florida man, shows him passing by a seemingly very common sight, a flock of birds in the sky. However, upon closer inspection, he realizes that the birds are not moving and appear to be frozen in time. It is highly unusual for a bird to be able to suspend itself in the sky without flapping its wings, and especially uncommon for a large flock of crows, which are known to constantly flap their wings to stay aloft. Are we witnessing a real-life glitch in the Matrix? When a forest gets really quiet, it always gives me the creeps. And recently, it seems like every forest and town has a scary story attached to it, whether it's real or a myth. Well, recently, a man named Don was walking in the woods when he stumbled upon a creature unlike any he had ever seen before. It moved in a way that was not human or animal-like. As Don was filming, he cautiously crept up on the creature, which was ape-like, but had very long and bent arms and legs and was hunched over. Some have suggested it could be a Sasquatch, but what I notice is the arms and hands. They're like nothing I've ever seen. It almost looks like some type of alien to me. The creature's gigantic sloth-like arms had no fingers and it walked deeper and deeper into the forest, and Don didn't dare follow it. It's hard to say what this creature could be. Some have suggested it could be a deformed monkey or ape, or even a sick bear, but it seems far too thin and lumbering to be a bear. It also seemed to walk on two legs, almost like a human, but again almost alien-like. Others have been referring to this creature as a forest humanoid angel. I'm not sure why anyone would describe this as an angel, but I definitely believe in humanoids. A GoPro attached to a man's helmet shows him mountain biking down a trail. Holy hell. Was anyone fast enough to see that? Let's watch again. A startled deer collides with a mountain biker on a secluded trail, sending both the man, his bike, and the elk tumbling. Thankfully, no serious injuries were reported. In 2011, a farmer in a small village in Russia reported that his home was shaken by a sudden explosion. As he went outside and searched for the source of the blast, he stumbled upon a strange set of remains. The creature had an unusual head and an even more peculiar torso and limbs. Its petrified state was also quite perplexing. The entire shape of the creature is intriguing. The farmer was said to be drying corn at the same time, which makes this even more odd. I don't think I would personally store an alien-like creature next to a potential food source. While it's difficult to say for sure without proper scientific examination, it's possible that this could be an unidentified extinct animal. With the Arctic warming twice as fast as the global average, it's likely that we may see more strange creatures emerging from the permafrost in the future. This next clip comes to us from the Daily Veil vale in Colorado, and what you see on camera needs no introduction. 
as you can see, a mountain lion has sauntered into a ground floor ski chalet, which appears to have no doors. Look, I understand ski in and ski out, but one door wouldn't hurt. Anyhow, the cat meanders around the hallway undetected, just checking things out, and somehow he must have gotten stuck in there, because he eventually even spends the night curled up down at the end of the hall. The next morning when the sun rises, the cat is looking for an escape. The cat continues to wander the halls, and you see a man stick his head out of his doorway. Looks like he and his son are going to hit the slopes. They duck back into their place as the cat hisses at them. And you can see the cat is frantic to get out of there and can't quite figure out the glass. He can see the outside, but he can't get there. Moments later, a couple comes back in with groceries or something, and a lady and her dog casually walk out for her dog to use the bathroom and start their day. And here comes the lion. As soon as the lion hits the threshold, you can see that he spots the two, likely still very close to the entrance, as he crouches down into a pounce position. As we fast forward, the lady eventually gathers her dog back in after likely coming face to face with the lion. She motions to another resident and says, there's a big bobcat. No ma'am, that's no bobcat. Luckily it seems as no one has been hurt though. Now if I could, let's run through a scenario really quickly. I think this video is crazy. Let's say you're at this property enjoying your night, watching Netflix, yada yada, and you hear some commotion out in the hallway. Maybe the lion bumps into your door, you think someone's knocking, whatever. You look through the peephole but don't see anything. So you open the door ever so slightly, and boom, you now have a mountain lion in your condo. What do you do? You probably don't have your phone, maybe you don't have shoes on, completely caught off guard, and now there's a mountain lion inside. What's your next move? I'm genuinely curious. You'd have to think fast. I guess it would depend on who's with you. If my kids and family are in there, I'm going back in regardless. But if I'm alone, I think the move is to lock the cat in there. Again, it would require some quick thinking. Let me know your tactics in the comments below. We've talked a lot about how dangerous feral hogs can be, not only to the community of farmers and agriculturalists, but to just people in general. In our next clip, we see a group of men trekking through the snow while on a hunt. Now, I don't know if they're hunting these boar, but they're hunting something. They have their rifles over their shoulders, and you can see them start running. When the camera pans behind them, a huge hog is heading straight for them, but veers off. Then another one comes barreling straight at one of the men that has fallen on the ground. Somehow the camera is still rolling, and no gunshots have been heard, I might add. And what looks like an entire family of wild boars is coming over the hill right at the guys. It looks to be like 12 to 15 of them. I'm assuming they all survived because there's a video, and man, they have quite the story to tell. Let me know in the comments if you've had any interactions with wild boars and feral hogs. Like most people, I love any inside look into wildlife, and I particularly love seeing animals and predators in action. Check this out as a wolf chases down a coyote in front of some ice fishermen. Look at the massive size difference. Coyotes are decent size topping out at around 40 pounds, but big male wolves tip the scales around 140, 100 pound difference. I bet the coyote is glad he doesn't weigh 10 more pounds or he would have been caught. The coyote jukes, getting the wolf off balance, and as the video ends, appears to have gotten away. 
just an incredible camera capture for these guys fishing. Residents of Estes Park, Colorado became alarmed when they started seeing an elk with a mesh swing stuck in his antlers. He had been spotted a few times over a span of weeks. A local Facebook page was the first to put it on paper and reported the elk appeared to be in good health, but the swing seemed to be causing the animal some discomfort. Wildlife experts believe that the elk may have mistaken the swing for a rival since this took place during mating season or rut. Elk are known to engage in fierce competition for mates during this time of the year and the swing may have been perceived as a threat. Experts also pointed out that human-made objects can be dangerous for wild animals and it's best to avoid leaving any kind of trash or discarded items in natural areas. Local officials were trying to decide if they needed to have a professional remove the swing or let nature take its course. And ultimately, the swing would become dislodged when the elk lost his antlers. Some commenters on the Facebook post said they wanted to try to pry the swing from his antlers. But officials warned them not to. Like they said, it's too dangerous in the middle of mating season. Bucks are aggressive and are known to, quote, stand their ground in the presence of people. Let's leave this one to the professionals, guys. In our first clip, two bald eagles with their distinctive white heads and dark brown bodies are locked in fierce combat high in the sky. Their powerful wings beat fiercely as they claw and bite at each other, their talons extended. The eagles spin and dive locked in a fierce aerial battle for dominance. You can hear their screeches filling the air as the birds hit the ground. The battle is intense. You can see as one eagle circles around and takes one more dive bomb at the dejected eagle. He pushes him away and the victor soars off into the distance as the defeated eagle slinks away. Here we have a bald eagle perched on a tree branch overlooking a body of water. As it surveys the water below, searching for its next meal, suddenly it spreads its massive wings and gracefully glides downward towards the water's surface. As it approaches, it extends its talons and with lightning fast precision, snatches a fish from the water before soaring back up into the sky. The fish struggles in the eagle's grasp, but its fate is sealed as the powerful bird carries it away to enjoy its well-deserved meal. It's amazing the precision with which this bird pulled that fish from the water. With his head down, his talons clench the back of the fish, and he flies away with a look of just another day in the office. A great capture. This next trail cam capture is an impressive one. A calf and its mother have come upon a cleared lot, awaiting the building of a home. The owner set up a trail cam and caught some great footage. The mother and baby are interested in this pipe or pole that's sticking out of the ground and start to check it out. But then the mother elk hears something. She's staring intently at it. Look at her eyes. We quickly see what has her attention as a wolf enters the camera's view. No doubt he's after the calf. As he attempts to grab the calf, mom steps in. You can even see her kicking with her back legs. Now, it took me a few times of watching this clip to notice, but as the wolf rushes the calf, the mother kicks its powerful back legs. Boom accidentally hits her calf right on the button, knocking him to the ground. The calf is clearly dazed like it just took a punch. Mother continues to guard her young, probably wondering why in the heck he's having trouble getting to his feet. As they stumble towards the camera, another wolf emerges and goes in for the kill. An up-close battle ensues and then all four of them are off the camera. 
I immediately think the worst. But then you see the wolves retreat off into the woods, and they wouldn't leave a kill. And the trail camera owner said not to worry. The mother and calf showed back up on camera a few days later, healthy and happy. Portals to different dimensions are a popular concept in science fiction and fantasy, and have many naysayers. These portals are often depicted as openings or gateways that connect our world to other realms or realities. They can take many forms, such as wormholes, black holes, or even magical doorways, which I believe you're going to see in this next clip. These portals are thought to allow for travel through space and time, or access to alternate versions of our world. Some theories suggest that these portals may exist in the real world, such as through quantum physics or higher dimensions. However, depending on who you talk to, there is currently no scientific evidence to support the existence of portals to other dimensions, and they are said to be purely fictional concepts. This submission may change your mind. This video clip came to Donovan Dredd from a viewer in Noonan, Georgia. The family lived in a seemingly normal house and lived a seemingly normal life. But one night, something strange happened. A portal appeared in their backyard. Not once, but twice. The family couldn't explain it, but they knew something was off about their home. Their son was so scared of the house that he refused to sleep in his room and instead slept downstairs on the couch. Even their niece, who was visiting, claimed to have seen a man with red eyes in the house. Things only got weirder from there. The family began to experience strange occurrences and hear strange noises. The mother of the family heard the sound of a baby crying, while the father heard what sounded like a ballroom with people talking and glasses clinking. They never saw anything, but they knew something was there. The family also experienced other strange events. Their father's glasses disappearing, only to reappear two years later in their backyard. No one could explain how it happened or who could have put them there. The family recorded some of the events and took pictures as proof of the strange happenings in their house. They shared these videos and pictures to us in hopes of finding answers to the mystery of their backyard portal. Here's some footage. Despite all this, the family stayed in the house for a few more years but the tension between the parents grew as they fought more often than usual. In 2019, they decided to move out of the house, and since then, they haven't experienced any strange occurrences or heard any strange noises. The submitter seemed very credible. Let me know what you guys think of this. In northern Canada, the largest pack of wolves in this valley are on the hunt for their next meal. Pound for pound, this single wolf pack has some of the smartest, largest, and strongest wolves in Canada and the world. There are an impressive amount of members of this pack, and the pack has brought out all of its firepower in terms of numbers. And by doing so means the prey thereafter is formidable. Bison. As you can see from the aerial view, the wolves are on the bison's trail, and only a small sliver of trees separates the hunted from the hunters. As the wolves circle, trying to unsettle the herd, the bison stay close to one another. They know as long as they stay together, work as a unit, they will be safe. The wolves are patient, planning their attack, and then ultimately strike and split some bison from the herd. In the chaos, one of the bison actually knocks over one of his comrades. As I watched, it got me thinking, I wonder if that was on purpose, strategic. If he knocks over a member of the herd, all of the attention would be off him and the rest. 
if he sacrificed one of the herd, the rest of the herd and himself would be safe. I looked up an expert and he said that, quote, it is unlikely that a bison would intentionally knock down another bison when being chased by wolves in order to stop the attack on itself. Bison are herd animals and they tend to protect one another. They would likely be more focused on fleeing the predators together and trying to stay together as a group rather than taking actions that could harm other members of the herd. Additionally, Bison are not known for displaying intentional or planned behaviors when facing predation. They are more likely to react based on their instincts and drive to survive. Nonetheless, whatever the situation, this is an amazing camera capture. In October of 2020, Kyle Burgess was jogging on a trail near Slate Canyon in Utah. In the middle of his run, he came upon some young cougar cubs in the middle of the trail. He knew that this was not good. Where there are cubs, there is usually a mama. He starts filming with his cell phone. Mom doesn't show herself straight away, but as Kyle is backing up, he spots her, following him on the edge of the path. As the video shows, she finally appears from the tree line and shows herself. She runs towards Kyle, trying to scare him. The footage captured the cougar following him for over six minutes. You're a scary kitty cat. Holy No, go away. Go away. No. No. You, dude. Holy. Burgess used loud noises and gestures to try and scare the animal away, but it continued to follow him. Eventually, the cougar retreated back into the woods and Burgess was able to safely get off the trail. The video of the encounter was widely shared on social media and received attention from huge news outlets. Thankfully, Kyle ended up being safe. This story highlights the importance of always being aware of one's surroundings when in nature, and the importance of knowing how to react when encountering wild animals. A very impressive camera capture. Rial Gindin, a young boy from Ontario, Canada, is extremely fortunate to be alive today. On what was supposed to be a fun, routine camping trip, the adventure ultimately ended in tragedy. Not long after arriving and setting up camp, Rial's parents wanted to go fishing to catch dinner. They tried to get their son to go, but he said he had a bad feeling and wanted to stay on the shore. Safely on shore, Rial watched while his parents fished from a nearby boat, often laughing and waving at their son. All of a sudden he heard a commotion and looked up to see the boat turning over. It capsized, and devastatingly, they drowned right in front of him. Not only traumatizing him, but also abandoning him in the wilderness. Not knowing what to do, devastated and terrified, he attempted to trek to the nearest town for assistance. But as the sun set, the young boy became scared, so he walked back to the campsite. He was coming to grips with the idea that he would have to spend the night outside in the cold. He didn't know what to do. As he lay on the freezing, hard ground, he was becoming delirious, hypothermia likely setting in. Sometime during the night, he was nudged awake, and he felt something warm and fuzzy snuggle up against him. He mistook it for a dog and promptly fell back to sleep. He was too cold to even look to see what it was. The next morning, searchers found the young boy, and Rial awoke to find three beavers curled up next to him. Temperatures had dropped below zero over the course of the night, and experts say he would have died if it hadn't been for his new furry buddies, keeping him warm. Animals truly are amazing.
Feral hogs, also known as wild pigs, are a growing problem in many parts of the United States. They cause significant damage to crops and property, and can also carry diseases that can affect both livestock and humans. Control measures include hunting, trapping, and fencing, but populations continue to grow. And it appears they may be a problem all over the world. This scene from Turkey shows a wild hog rushing a man, only to be stopped by a protective barrier. Sakın. Git. 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 Git öyle vuracağım. Look how freaking big that thing is. During the video, you can hear the man chuckle and then hear the teeth of the hog chomping down. Wild. In our next clip, a British YouTuber is making a video to show off the speed of his new bike. And after a short explanation, he takes off away from the camera. But while his camera is waiting for him to speed by, it picks up something moving in the background. As you can see on your screen, a large figure is walking from the tree line. It appears Slender Man has made an appearance. Often depicted as a tall, thin, faceless man dressed in a black suit, often with elongated arms, he is said to stalk and abduct children and is often associated with forested areas. Many people believe the Slender Man to be a real entity, but others claim he was created for the purposes of internet entertainment. While believers accept the fact that he may have been originally created by and for the internet, the sheer amount of believers now has made him come to life. I'll let you be the judge. However, Slender Man has been linked to real life violence. In 2014, two 12 year old girls brutally murdered a friend of theirs, claiming that they did it to please Slender Man. Let me know in the comments if you've had any encounters with Slender Man. Owls usually have the advantage over snakes and quite often turn them into a quick meal. Well, not in today's clip. Take a look. Look at this owl closely. He comes to the watering hole looking for prey or to take a quick drink. Boom. A snake jumps out of nowhere and attacks this unsuspecting owl. As we watch again, the owl dips one foot into the water and wow, the snake lunges out of hiding and takes a snap at the owl. Pretty crazy camera capture. Portuguese desert workers were shocked when they heard rumblings of a towering humanoid wandering around their remote job site the last few days and nights. So a few days later when one of the guys spotted him, another went and got a camera. As they filmed the desert landscape and talked among themselves, they zoomed in on the hulking creature making its way across the prairie in the distance. The creature appeared to be twice the size of an average person, with forearms the length of a grown man's leg. Despite its hunched posture, it was estimated to be around 10 feet tall, almost as tall as the tree it disappeared behind. The workers continued to film, but when the creature did not reemerge, they wisely decided not to pursue it, which was probably smart. Given its massive arms and long legs, it was clear that the creature would have been able to defend itself pretty easily. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'm leaning towards it being a hoax. There's just something about it that seems a little off. No matter how tough and resilient animals are, every now and then, nature throws things at them that they just can't figure out by themselves. As we saw in an earlier video, sometimes animals just need a loving hand. In this clip from Michigan in 2019, Mark Johnson was out hunting with his dog when he spotted two bucks entangled with each other. 
Being an avid hunter and outdoorsman, Mark didn't think much of it. Of course he thought it was cool, but he had seen bucks battling like this before. He was, however, impressed at how long they had been at it, how long they were fighting, and that's when he figured it out. They were stuck together. Mark knew he needed to help out, because what happens in these situations is that one, but most likely both deer, die from exhaustion or starvation and or coyotes move in for a kill. Knowing all that, Mark decided to call some of his buddies and told them what was going on. After the guys got a game plan, they grabbed some rope and a chainsaw used for cutting limbs and set out to free the box. They eventually found them wrestling near the tree line and tried to free them there, but the bucks became startled and pushed further into the woods. The deer eventually slid down an embankment and toppled into a little stream. With their necks twisted, this was a less than ideal situation. One or both bucks could have drowned. While the deer are laying there thrashing in the shallow water, the quick thinking man took his shot and freed the bucks by slicing one of the antlers. Man, that guy was like a surgeon with that thing. In and out, real quick. Both deer quickly stand up and tromp through the water in the other direction. I'm sure they were grateful for the hand they were lent. Coyote and deer are mortal enemies. There's really no other way to explain it. Two creatures thrown into the animal kingdom just trying to survive. Unfortunately for one of them, they are the prey. Drone footage from a professional fishing charter captain specializing in fishing the flats of South Carolina captured this amazing standoff and battle between a single deer and a single coyote. As the drone zooms in from overhead, you can see the coyote dragging the deer out of the shallow water pool, but she's able to escape and gets back to the water. Now I would traditionally say that the deer has an advantage here because they are much stronger swimmers than coyotes. However, the water is not deep enough for the deer to have any real advantage. The coyote is still able to use its strong legs while the deer's hooves are likely sinking into the soft marsh mud. This goes on for a few more minutes before the coyote gets and keeps the advantage. The rest of the video gets pretty gnarly, but to be conscious of some viewers, I'll link the full video in the description below. Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch, is considered to be the most popular and well-known cryptid. Bigfoot is often described as a large, ape-like creature that is said to inhabit forests, mainly in the Pacific Northwest region of North America. He is said to be bipedal, standing at around 7 to 10 feet tall, and weighing around 500 to 1,000 pounds. There have been many, many reported sightings of the creature. But this next trail cam capture is a pretty convincing one. A hunting guide named Craig Salk, who owns 80 acres of land in the Upper Peninsula in Michigan, has put up trail cameras on various parts of his property. He just loves to track the game that is moving through the woods. Craig caught a figure in the background of one of his trail cameras, and it's either a human or a Bigfoot. Now, Craig says no one should be in these woods without his permission, but we all know how that goes. As the video plays, you can see the deer in the foreground is the one that triggered the camera to snap the pictures. But she's not what we're interested in. The mystery lies in the background. The trail cam took three pictures, but only one of them caught a bipedal figure in the background. Could this be a human? Sure. But what's he doing? Why isn't the deer afraid of him? Or these pictures could tell a story, and the story could be that there is a creature following this deer, and just happened to get caught in one of the pictures. Like I said, the camera snapped three pictures. The figure was caught in the second one. 
I feel like if that was a human, he or she would have likely been seen in all three photos. A Bigfoot, on the other hand, might be keen to stay out of sight. Craig shared the photos to social media out of curiosity, and the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization found the photo convincing enough to travel to Michigan. As the four members of the BFRO head to Craig's property, located right on the border of Wisconsin and Michigan, it is the exact type of dense forest a creature would inhabit. The foursome would spend a few nights and days on Craig's property. They were performing reenactments and searching for any reasonable explanation to verify or debunk this photo. Ultimately, the verdict was inconclusive. They could neither confirm nor deny what was in the photo. Having watched a decent amount of footage on this, the thing that strikes me is that Craig seems very level-headed and credible. He's not looking for notoriety or an award for finding Bigfoot. He's just a hunter who has pictures that he can't explain. So, what do you guys think? The photo definitely gets my wheels turning. Did Craig capture a photo of Bigfoot on his property? Or is he just the victim of a well-orchestrated hoax? I'll let you guys decide for yourselves. Honestly, I'm not really sure what to say about this one here. At first glance, it looks like a creature hugging a tree for sure. You can see the semblance of arms wrapped around the tree and a head buried in the arms. But the more I look, the less I'm sure this is an actual creature. The original uploader said that this was supposed to be a baby Sasquatch. You be the judge. In September of 2022, a small town was notified that there was a young deer running around with an arrow stuck in itself. The deer was first spotted on a farmer's trail cam, and the farmer couldn't believe his eyes. Sure enough, someone had shot and hit the deer with an arrow, but the deer never fell. The trail camera footage was taken days before, so the deer was long gone. As word spread, people were looking for the deer in hopes of helping out. One day after work, a man pulled in his driveway. Surprisingly, he saw a young deer next to his house. He thought, well, this is strange, but then quickly noticed the arrow protruding from his side. The man was unaware that this deer had been the topic of the town conversation, but he sprung into action. And the deer, seemingly unfazed, was pretty lackadaisical about the whole situation. And luckily, the gentleman knew the arrow needed to be removed to help prevent infection or further complications. The man calmly approached the deer, covering its eyes to keep it calm. I think, deep down, the deer must have known that the man was there to help, because he remained calm. The man was able to pull the arrow out relatively easily, but for precaution took him to a wildlife clinic where he could undergo further examination. The wildlife veterinarian said the arrow missed major organs and miraculously settled into a pretty benign place on the deer. He would be sore, but he was ultimately released back into the wild. Thank goodness for that good Samaritan. In terms of physical strength, praying mantises are not particularly strong compared to other animals. But their strength is pretty impressive relative to their size and their hunting behavior. They are able to use their speed and agility to quickly grab and hold on to their prey, which is one of the things that makes them effective hunters. They are ambush predators. They wait and blend in with their surroundings to surprise their prey. And in this next clip, you're going to see that hunting in action. As you can see, the mantis is perched on the hummingbird feeder. The bird approaches and snatch. Unreal. Look at the mantis grab onto the beak of the bird and just not let it go. There's the relative strength we were talking about. The hummingbird tries to fly away, but the mantis just pulls him in. 
Mantises have a unique physical structure that enables the powerful muscles in their thorax and head to strike quickly and hold their prey. Safe to say we saw all of that in action. Just unreal camera footage. I didn't even know a mantis could handle a bird like that. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen anything like this. I'll stop it here, but I'll link the full video in the description and it's worth the watch. I feel like coyotes are kind of like that annoying, mischievous second cousin that just can't do right. At least that's always how it seems when you compare the coyote and the wolf. The wolf is bigger and badder and more feared, and the coyote is just meh. Anyhow, this particular coyote is here to show everyone that he can do impressive things as well. As the video starts, you can see the coyote is interested in the tree, and if you look a little closer, you can see there's a dog bone tied, or somehow attached to this tree, and he wants it. What he does next is very impressive. He scales right up that tree, keeping his eye on the prize. Now I have seen videos of similar things, but I've never seen a wild coyote caught on a trail cam doing it. Now, I will say I have never once seen this, a coyote in a tree. I can't imagine walking out to work one morning and seeing this, a coyote eating berries out of my tree. I mean, what is going on here? Has anyone seen anything like this? I have so many questions. Why is he up there? How did he get up there? The lady filming sounds very calm about this, almost like it occurs daily. She even says, quote, there's our coyote eating berries out of our tree. This situation does remind me that I have heard about fruit farmers removing old rotten fruit from or around trees because of what it might attract. But honestly, when I think of that, this isn't what comes to mind. Let me know in the comments if you have seen anything like this. This is pretty amazing. This next clip is just incredible. But first of all, before we watch this next outdoor camera capture, the parrots in this video, shot in Brazil, are wild. They are not pets. So just remember that. Anyhow, as the camera rolls, you can see one parrot just hanging out near this water source. And pretty quickly another arrives. But he doesn't stay for very long. Wow. A boa constrictor hidden in the water bowl snatched him right up. As we watch it again, knowing what we know, you can tell the first bird is a little apprehensive. He takes a little nip of water, but then pulls back. I wonder if he senses something is in that water. I suspect the snake was just lying in wait for something to breach the water's surface, and when that second bird lands... You can see his tail just dip into the water ever so slightly. That's all the snake needed. Just an incredible wildlife event to capture on camera. Our next clip is a viewer submission from Ricky M. Ricky lives in the panhandle of Florida in a town named Bristol. Bordering the Apalachicola National Forest, he says. Ricky likes to hunt anything he can find. <laughs> his words, not mine. In his area, he has a lot of wildlife. Deer, hogs, bears, panthers, gators, and even more. One evening, he and a buddy were checking Ricky's trail cameras. They were looking for a big gator that was suspected of taking a neighbor's dog. And Ricky knew just the camera to check. As the guy sifted through the footage, seeing the usual suspects, to his surprise, one of the cameras had captured an image of a strange creature. It was unlike any animal he had ever seen before. It had the body of a panther with the distinctive stripe pattern of a tiger, but also looked like it had the mane of an African lion. Ricky and his buddy were shocked. 
They knew what they were looking at wasn't native to that area. They had lived there their whole lives. He showed the pictures to the local wildlife officials, but they were just as puzzled as he was. They had never seen anything like it before. The picture created quite a firestorm locally, but still no one has been able to identify it. The creature has been dubbed the Tigon, a crossbreed between a tiger and a lion. I guess using Liger was too mainstream. Anyhow, everyone and their brothers were buying trail cameras to try and catch another glimpse of the Tigon, but he has never been seen again. The mystery of how such a creature came to exist and why it was in the remote woods of Florida remains unsolved. It's all pretty crazy. Now, I'm sure most know it's impossible for two species of big cats to mate naturally, but it is possible for them to be crossbred in captivity through artificial insemination. I don't know. My personal thoughts are, if this happened anywhere outside the state of Florida, I'd be a little skeptical. But Florida is known for being a little wild in some places, especially with all of the exotic animals that are imported into that state and then ultimately released when their owners can no longer provide for them. Maybe this is one of those. Nevertheless, I'm grateful for the submission and let me know if you've seen anything like this creature before, or have any knowledge of big cats and crossbreeding. Our next few clips are a compilation from an awesome channel that gives us a really good glimpse inside nature. Now, I've seen bears using trees as back scratchers in the past, but this here is a great angle, and it really gives some perspective. Look at him. He's barely pushing against that tree, and it looks like if he gave it any force, it could uproot at any minute. I mean, I get it. There really is nothing better than a good, much needed back scratch. This next clip in the compilation shows some beautiful foxes. And man, let me tell you, they do not look like this in the part of the United States that I'm from. These guys are a cool looking silver and black with reddish underbellies. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these are gray foxes. Red foxes are most common around me. And as you can see, they're having a little fun on this rock bed. I'd like to know the backstory of this clip here. The deer is stopped. The coyote runs by and then the deer chases. Are they buddies or... The deer did look kind of annoyed when he passed the camera. Like I said, this channel has some beautiful trail camera footage. Check this elk herd hitting the water. It's phenomenal. Look at that backdrop. At first I thought they sensed a predator and maybe they do. But this trail camera footage stays wholesome. Just a look into the beautiful wilderness. This next clip shows a nighttime battle of two bucks, most likely in rut. You see a buck tumble down a small embankment, then smash. Another buck antler butts him off the top. What a great capture. Now this is amazing trail camera footage. So the owner of the land found a fresh deer killed by a mountain lion on his property. He was able to get some awesome still pics of the lion because he would return every night to feed on the deer. But he wanted trail cam footage of the cat. So he set up a trail cam. It captured the mountain lion coming and going, feeding, day, night. It attracted a few other animals. But the best part is when his 15-year-old English bulldog Dozer discovers the carcass. And there he is. But one night, Dozer shows up on the trail cam, sniffing around, doing his thing. But he's not alone. Those eyes in the background, they belong to the mountain lion. It looks like Dozer smells the cat. He smells that something's in the area. 
He turns around and sees the cat and then rushes him. Dozer's probably none the wiser that that cat could lift him up and just carry him away. Nevertheless, Dozer struts back in view of the camera while the lion slinks away. Obviously, an English bulldog is no match for a mountain lion, but Dozer was able to scare away the lion for the time being. In the animal kingdom, predators have a finely tuned sense of when to fight for their prey and when to just give up likely due to their instinctive knowledge that fighting could potentially mean injury or death, whereas giving up may preserve much needed energy resources. Anyhow, just an amazing trail cam capture, and we hope that Dozer is still kicking. This next video is pretty crazy. In Kazakhstan, a fortunate deer was rescued by local residents. They spotted the deer outside in the snow with its head tilted down, unable to move or walk. Upon closer inspection, they discovered that the deer was frozen in place due to a large amount of ice covering its mouth and head. Temperatures had reached negative 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and the deer was helpless to free itself. The video shows the rescuer gently holding the deer and breaking the ice off its head, freeing it from its icy trap. Man, thanks to their quick thinking, the deer was given a second chance at life. This next capture is amazing. It's May of 2020 and nightfall in Saskatchewan, Canada. And in the pitch black darkness, there's something going on in the yard across from this driveway. As the flashlight shines, you can see a creature crouched behind a rock. You can see it duck away. It peeks its head out and then goes back really fast, then peeks it out again and goes back. The family filming would turn the flashlight off, wait a few moments, turn it back on, and the creature would be looking at them but do the same thing, duck behind the rock, show itself. The mother said at first that she thought that this was just a child, but it wasn't one of her children, and because of the area they live in, there wouldn't be any children playing around this time. She said it moved in an odd way. It was the size of a child, but it didn't move like one. The coordination was too good. If you look closely, you can see the shadow reflecting off the rock. Now, of course, this could be a hoax, but if nothing else, seeing the shadow proves that the creature really is there. Something is there. To authenticate the footage, we return to forensic video analyst Michael Primo. It's spooky. This is definitely a recording that I have a hard time explaining. When you watch the video, the movement appears to be consistent with what I would expect to see from a recording that was created in this environment. Primo doesn't believe the video has been manipulated or altered. So then could it be a nocturnal animal, like a raccoon or a possum? We return to our wildlife biologist, Lucy Eckersley. This looks like something bipedal that walks on its back legs and can utilize its front limbs. So from what I can see, I think that this is a humanoid creature between three and four foot tall. And she thinks it's not just humanoid, it's a human, a younger specimen. From everything I've seen here, I think that it's most likely children having a bit of fun. Anthropologist Kathy Strain has a different perspective on the creature captured in this video. Kathy is well versed in the legends of the Manigishi and suggests that the creature being nocturnal and the way its body moves, it matches the characteristics of the Manigishi. By using the nearby doghouse in the footage for size reference, it indicates that the creature is not particularly large. Based on the size, its nocturnal eyesight and behavior, Strain believes that the video may be proof that the Manigishi is a real creature. Unfortunately, for anyone that crosses paths with one of these, they need to be on alert. One of the Manigishi's biggest delights is to crawl out of the rocks and capsize the canoes of people and watch them scramble to safety. 
hopefully. Experts say they are small but devious. They are mischievous. They are out to get you and you'd be wise to keep your distance. Overall, it's fascinating, really. This was the first time I had heard of the Manigishi. While it's tough to say whether or not the creature is real, it begs the question, what else is out there that we don't know about? As for now, what do you all think about the Manigishi? Let me know in the comments. Have you heard of them? Has anyone had any contact with one? I'm very interested. Here we see a juvenile bobcat, recently caught on camera playing with a venomous rattlesnake in the wilderness. The footage, taken in a remote location, shows the young bobcat approaching the snake, sniffing it and then playfully batting it with its paws. Despite the danger posed by the snake's venom, the bobcat seems fearless and continues to play with the snake. I mean, look how quick and agile he is. After several minutes of playing, the bobcat suddenly grabs the snake in his jaws and kills it, eventually rolling in it. This behavior is not unusual for bobcats. They are known to be highly skilled hunters. However, their ability to handle venomous snakes is still surprising as a bite from a rattlesnake could be lethal to most animals. Man, this footage is just fascinating. A glimpse into the complex world of wildlife. You never know what you're going to see in the forest. That's why when these bears started running around, the hunter in the tree stand took out his phone and started filming. Little did he know what was going to happen next. As the bear scampers up the tree, the guy's face is priceless. Neither of them can believe it. The bear eventually shimmies down the tree. Makes you think, what was chasing them? Nevertheless, a great capture. Rancher and farmer Jake Mitchell from Southwest Kansas was in for a surprise when he discovered one of his missing trail cameras hanging from the antlers of a big deer. He noticed the camera was missing from his property, where he grows crops and raises cattle, but didn't think much of it. Not until his cousin spotted a mule deer with something unusual on its head. When they saw the deer again, they were shocked to see the missing camera on its antlers. Mitchell's farm is typical of the region, wide open and windswept with few trees, which is why he has to mount his trail cameras on fence posts. However, the local deer population uses these posts as scrapes, which led to the camera ending up on the antlers of the eight-point buck. Luckily, having a landowner tag to shoot a deer, Mitchell was determined to recover his missing camera. After the brief hunt, he walked up to the deer and found the camera wrapped around its antlers. Unfortunately, the camera was broken and the SD card was missing, so the potentially amazing footage of the deer grabbing the camera and giving us a real look at his habitat was lost forever. A landowner has placed a trail camera on this stretch of road on his property, and you won't believe what he caught. In this trail cam clip, a fawn has wandered out to the road. Being cautious. And when Mr. Bobcat gets to the area, he definitely senses something has been there. As we fast forward a bit, same camera, just now it's nightfall. You can see the bobcat spot something. Look at the way he crouches and moves his head, staying hidden but also keeping his sight on the prey. Unbelievable.
So same camera, same place, hours apart. Do we think the deer are just bedded down in there somewhere? Let me know what you think in the comments. In my last video, I talked about a young boy being saved from hypothermia by three beavers, which was amazing. But in this video, we see a beaver just beavering. The up close look is pretty interesting, especially since the tree he decides to fall has a trail camera attached to it. I won't show the whole clip because it's kind of long, but the beaver is just doing his thing. It appears he's going back and forth from two trees, and he eventually falls the tree with the camera. I guess the beaver wasn't interested in being spied on any longer. I do wonder if he dragged the tree to his dam with the camera still attached. This next beaver clip shows a big old fat guy located next to a river in Maine. Look at how much he's gnawed off that one tree. That's incredible. And he started on that even bigger one to the right of the screen. I mean, come on, what the heck is he going to do with that if he brings it down? Seems like a lot of work. He should just find another tree, but I'll leave that to the beavers. As he starts back in on the tree on the left, the time lapse is cool and you can see that he's getting close. The daylight video shows just how big these trees really are. I'm pretty blown away by this, honestly. Those trees are massive. A few nights later, he comes to finish her off. A few more chomps and he knows the tree is about to fall and almost gets crushed by it. But there he is, proud of his work. Just really cool footage that you would never have seen without a trail camera. This next video is a very odd one. We can clearly see something completely unnatural in this eerie video. At first glance, it appears to be a young woman wearing a hospital gown in the middle of the night, in the middle of a field, which is creepy enough. But as we take a closer look, there really is something not quite right about her. It appears she is sporting some kind of headpiece. However, it's difficult to make out exactly what it is. The timing of this bizarre appearance is also noteworthy. 3.33 a.m. Often referred to as the witching hour, or devil's hour in folklore. A time historically associated with supernatural events and paranormal activity, wherein witches, demons, and ghosts are thought to be at their most powerful and evil actions are set in motion. Let me know what you guys think about this. This clip is incredible and pretty much speaks for itself. The bear, as you can see, is swimming after the calves. Mom swoops in and runs interference and backs the bear off a bit. But ultimately, one of the calves gets separated, and that is the beginning of the end for that little guy. An expert weighed in on the video and says that it looked like the mother had to pick which one of her children to save. And not surprisingly, it wouldn't be the first time an animal mom was forced to identify the weakest link in her family chain and use them to placate an existential threat. In fact, it happens more often than you think. It's a cold move, maybe the coldest, but in the end, it is the right one biologically speaking. Though it may seem harsh, it's the right move to ensure survival of her family in a dire situation. Now, the following footage claims to show something frightening hiding in the woods, but the validity of this claim is highly questionable. The supposed creature is never fully revealed to the camera, 
and its movements, while quick, could easily be explained by a number of other factors. Additionally, the lighting in the video, while aided by infrared, would have made it difficult to accurately identify the source of any movement. Furthermore, the creature's supposed desire to come out from hiding before ultimately disappearing completely out of frame could easily be interpreted as simply being a trick of the lighting or a misinterpretation of the footage. I'd say until there's concrete evidence to support this video, it's wise to remain skeptical. Thanks to a trail cam, we now have a rare glimpse into the wild and what bears do when humans aren't present. This trail cam captured a thrilling video of two mature black bears locked in a battle, which some may interpret as a territorial fight, but it is more likely a display of dominance or a defense of a food source. The clip showcases two black bears with one being a cinnamon bear, a subspecies of the American black bear that has a brownish color and darker arms and face. The bears charged at each other with full power and strength, until the cinnamon bear overpowered the other, knocking it down before standing up and continuing. Safe to say this trail camera footage has provided a unique insight into the wild world of bears.